Hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another video on the Brugly channel. I'm your host, Brugly, and today I'm going to be talking about Backrooms level 148, which is a newly discovered level that you do not want to get sent to or stuck in. Trust me. Anyways, you all seem to love dangerous levels, and this is quite literally the definition of that. So let's dive right into this craziness, shall we? Backrooms level 148, aka the living level, is classified as a class 5B, which means it's unsafe, unsecure, and has environmental dangers. Really bad environmental dangers. So just based off of its name, you can tell that this level feels almost like it's alive, because it has this very weird ability to change itself in shape, size, and even change all objects inside of itself. And this level makes those changes happen whenever it senses movement. Even movement as small as your footsteps can make the level warp and change itself. Now, you might be asking yourself, you know, what does this mean? Well, why does the level change itself? Well, no one really knows, of course, but the main theory is that this level is some sort of intelligent entity. And not only does the level have intelligence, it uses that intelligence to manipulate and actively do things with malicious or bad intentions. So it uses 100% of its intelligence to try to hurt wanderers that get sent here. One person even claimed that the level talked to them with an actual voice, but who knows if that's true, because people can just go insane in the back rooms and start hearing stuff but i think it is true you're about to hear why so there are two different states that this level can be in the first is called the basic state and the second is called the alarm state in this basic state the level looks like a bunch of randomly put together halls and open rooms and corridors that are made out of concrete or concrete blocks and some concrete staircases, as well as some random voids that are out of the walls. But pretty much it's just a labyrinth of claustrophobic concrete hallways. And an interesting note is that even in this basic state, things like Smiler repellent and other useful substances have no effect here. They don't even work. It's like the level suppresses them. The next state is the alarm state, and during this alarm state, the level is at its most dangerous part. This is when the entire thing is awake and is causing the most chaos. If you remember when I said earlier that the level might be an entity with intelligence, yeah, this alarm state is when the entity wakes up. If you're running around the level or you're walking loudly, the entity will be able to sense your vibrations and will change the room or hallway or staircase into something dangerous and even deadly to try to trap you or unalive you. On top of this level being angry towards you and actively trying to unalive you during the alarm stage, the lights are also turned off. So, that's just fun. And it gets even worse. Just wait till the traps section of this video. The best thing to do during this alarm stage is to just sit down somewhere in the smallest and most enclosed space you can find. That way, the level can't hear your vibrations or your footsteps or anything, and then you can just wait it out. Both the basic state and the alarm state can last anywhere from a few hours to several days. So, it's advised that no one should come to the level without proper supplies. Or, you know, just don't come to the level at all, and you won't have to worry about it. As I said earlier, the level is called the living level, and it's for more reasons than what I just told you. Yes, the level can do even more than hunt you and try to change itself to hurt you even more, and I'm gonna explain why right now. It can also feel things and communicate with you in weird ways. One documented way is that the level can write on its own walls in English to the Wanderer. When this happened, it was at its basic state and it wasn't attacking the Wanderer, so it's unknown why it tried to contact that person, but yeah. In another sick and twisted example of this level just being plain mean, it also manifests fake exits in its walls in the form of the Mimic Entity, which is just a fake door that can lead to a high fall or to a void where you're doomed to be there forever. And these doors are random and they're unmarked, and if you go in them, the Mimic Entity will consume you, uh, so I just recommend not opening any doors here. The level has no actual vision or eyes or anything like that, and it seems to only be able to find people people and objects through vibrations. So your best bet is to move slowly and carefully and to make as little noise as possible to get out of here alive.
Now is the trap section of the video, and I'm going to be going over the specific level traps that this entity and intelligent thing tries to put you in. The first one is called the Flood, and it happens in random hallways and random rooms and corridors, but the level pretty much floods that hall or room with freezing cold water all the way to the ceiling with hopes of getting you stuck in it and drowning. So if you hear a rumble or see a rush of water coming, run the opposite way and get as high up as possible. The second trap is called the Squeeze and it's like those rooms that squeeze together slowly except on this level the walls and the ceilings and the floor all close in on each other to try to crush you. This crush can happen in hallways and rooms so if it starts happening try to get out of there before you become a pancake. The next trap is the swivel, which is where the room or hallway you're in bends and curves like kind of a wringing out of a washcloth. Everything is distorted and curved, and it can hurt you pretty bad if you're not careful. Next is another dangerous trap, where the level introduces mental issues by trying to control your brain and talking to you. Ugh. And then there's the fire trap, where a huge section or the entire hallway you're in is set on fire. <laughs> so yeah, not fun at all. But this might be the most innately dangerous level. There's one person of interest who's stuck on this level named Knox, and he's the one who discovered it in the first place. Now, he's not involved with any backrooms organization like Meg. He's just a guy who was unfortunate enough to get sent here and get stuck. Even though other people have been here and escaped, Knox can't. And since the escape is random, you have no choice over it. Interestingly enough, this level actually seems to talk to Knox more than any other person who's been here, which means the level is smart enough to develop a relationship, which is kind of cool, I guess. There is one base here called the Dome, and it's where Knox lives. Now, the Dome is accessed by tiny crawl spaces which all lead to this small dome-shaped ceiling room. And like I said, this is where Nox stays, and if you can get there, you should be pretty safe. To enter this level, first off, you shouldn't. But if you can't help it, you have to go. You can no-clip through any floor of a basement-type area and be sent here. And to exit, you have to accidentally be no-clipped out. You have no choice. It just randomly happens or it doesn't. And only a few people have been able to do it. So, good luck. That was it for this crazy level, Backrooms Level 148. I hope you enjoyed it. This one was seriously insane, and I really liked how it's kind of like an escape room everywhere you go. It just adds that level of intensity to it, and uh, I find it enjoyable, so good stuff. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Make sure to go below and check out my second and third channels, Brugly, Toogly, and Spoogly. All the channels are going up and subscribers. Thank you so much for the support. I'm trying to get to 500k here on Brugly by the end of the year so I can buy that Backrooms outfit, make videos in it go out in public in it it's gonna be great i'm also trying to get my second channel Toogly to 50k by the end of the year and we're already at 26k so go help me over there if you want to see more i've been playing reaction videos gaming videos over there it's a great time you all are loving the content and i appreciate you for it and my third channel spoogly is doing great go sub over there if you want your weekly fix of cryptid stuff also leave a comment telling me what levels you want me to go over and i'll make sure to check them out thank you all for everything i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next video Peace.